The Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word still is God. When we realize that man is like God, and he could not be otherwise, being made out of God, we realize that his Word also has power. If there is but one mind, then it follows that our Word, our thought, is the activity of that one mind in our consciousness. The power that holds the planets in their place is the same power that flows through man. Now once you realize that level of consciousness, where you are officially, you identify yourself as the spirit, not the flesh. You are the inner voice, not the outer voice. Once you become the inner voice, now your outer voice has power. Now when you speak, it's not just a shell speaking. There's a being speaking through the shell. And this is where you heal all sickness in your body. This is where you command reality to work with you and it works according to your consciousness. Why? Because it's not a shell that's speaking. There's a real being in the shell that is speaking. And when the real being speaks, all nature and the universe responds. You see, I am is God. And whatever you add to I am, you become. Whatever you add to I am is added unto you. Did you get it? Your whole spiritual practice is about the dissolution of the lies and the inhibitions and the fears, the doubts and the worries and all the things that have covered up this beautiful essence of you. So that 100% of your spiritual growth, development and unfoldment is about the releasing the limitations, releasing the inhibitions, releasing the blockages so that you can shine like you have never shown before. You can fly like you have never flown before.